The disciples of the Tai Ching sect were a little surprised, I didn't expect a survivor. It's the Blood Soul sect's sect master, however, Yi Zan wasn't surprised. If the Blood Soul sect was really so easy to deal with, they probably wouldn't have been so arrogant for so long. The hearts of the Tai Ching sect disciples were in their throats when they saw the sect master of the Blood Soul sect preparing to make a big move. After all, they knew that the sect master of the Blood Soul sect had a secret technique. He could both summon real evil ghosts for his own use and enhance his strength. Instantly, the world suddenly changed color. Foul energy that was many times thicker than with Tai Ching's sect previously gathered there. The aura of the Blood Soul sect's sect master continued to rise until it reached the peak of sky rank. The black mist wrapped around him as if it was nurturing something, looking extremely ominous. Even the others could sense the ghastly horror inside and felt a little uncomfortable. If the sect master of the Blood Soul sect really released it, everyone would probably be doomed. I want you to pay the price for this, I'll imprison your souls in hell forever, enslaving you and making you unable to reincarnate. After saying the terrifying curse, he laughed strangely, and the blood red color in his eyes almost solidified. He stared at the people of the Tai Ching sect, almost to the extent of guaranteeing them nightmares at night. Even if they wanted to attack, they couldn't get close to him. Furthermore, based on their current strength, they couldn't cause any harm to the current sect master. They had already used up all the water and fire talismans in their hands. The Tai Ching sect disciples were extremely flustered. They quickly looked at Yi Zan. Elder Yi, what should we do? They had encountered an unexpected troublesome existence. The terrifying aura that came from the Blood Soul sect's sect master made almost everyone not dare to move, let alone resist. They felt immense pressure just by taking a few steps. When he saw that the leader was only a level 2 human, he laughed even more arrogantly. You bunch of ants, you're simply looking for death. Just as the shadow behind the sect master was about to take form, Yi Zan made his move. You're too noisy. Dropping just a few words, he condensed his hands and threw out countless water and fire talismans, filling them with spiritual power. Everyone was dumbfounded. They had thought that the previous number of talismans was the limit, but Yi Zan had more. By gathering all the giant balls of energy together, Yi Zan condensed them into a small ball the size of a fingernail. That made the energy more concentrated. It contained such terrifying energy that even the sect master of the Blood Soul sect trembled. That's. Yi Zan reached out and flicked. Go. The water droplet shaped energy was wrapped in raging flames, penetrating through the layers of black mist. The originally ferocious black mist seemed to have met its natural enemy at that moment and could not avoid it in time. An unprecedented chill swept through the Blood Soul sect's sect master body. It was too late for him to escape, and the small ball landed between his brows. Arg. With a grunt, the sect master of the Blood Soul sect, who had been so domineering a moment ago, was in so much pain that he almost rolled on the ground. The black aura on his body seemed to have been devoured by something and dissipated completely. In the next second, only a human shaped shadow was left on the ground. As everything happened so quickly, everyone was dumbfounded. The crowd looked at the Blood Soul sect, which was in ruins, in disbelief. Only the ashes of their disciples were left. The previously magnificent and huge building was reduced to nothing just like that. Those watching could not help but say, the battle is over? Thanks to Yi Zan, they didn't suffer any losses, it was simply unbelievable. The newly established Tai Ching sect had actually beaten the famous Blood Soul sect to the point where they couldn't even fight back, furthermore, they had no casualties. Looking at the black shadow on the ground, those of the Tai Ching sect were still wondering how the formidable sect master of the Blood Soul sect fell so easily, without even getting to use his ultimate move. They could not help but show sympathy in their eyes. Why did you have to provoke Elder Yi for nothing? It seems that the Blood Soul sect is nothing much. Aren't you being too arrogant? Elder Yi did almost all the work. If you went against any of their elders, I'm sure you'd have lost all courage. The few disciples teased each other, but when they thought about it, it seemed that they really did not contribute anything. If the people from the Blood Soul sect were still alive, they would definitely be filled with regret, along with inexhaustible spiritual power. Yi Zan used water and fire talismans freely as if they were infinite. It was an invincible combination akin to a cheat key. Who could stand having to die without being given any time to react? In fact, the strength of the Blood Soul sect was not so weak, it was just that Yi Zan caught them off guard and even used a big killing move. If it had been a head-on confrontation, 
The Taiching sect people would have had no chance of winning at all, but who would have thought that Yi Zan would throw such a curveball? One could only sigh. It was probably fate that the Blood Soul sect, which dominated a region and committed many evil deeds, had been destroyed just like that. Congratulations to the host for completing the mission of consuming 50,000 water and fire talismans. Mission reward. 2,000 prodigal points. Hearing the notification sound in his mind, Yi Zan revealed a satisfied smile. The trip was quite fruitful. Meanwhile, Shen Hai, Xie Yixuan, and a few other powerful elders were gathered. The fifth elder could not help but ask, is it really okay for us to be like this? After he finished speaking, he worriedly looked over at the Tai Ching sect. Did something happen with the sect? What could happen? I asked the sixth elder before, and he said that the Great Mountain Protection Array can hold up for a while. At most, they will be injured, but nothing serious will happen. If we go back at the critical moment and save everyone from the crisis, those disciples will definitely be grateful to us. At that time, they will know who is truly worthy of following. Xie Yixuan's family background was extraordinary. He had long received news that the Blood Soul sect might make a move on the Tai Ching sect. He wanted to use the opportunity to improve his prestige in the sect. It turned out that the reason why those powerful elders were so coincidentally not currently with the sect was that they had coordinated beforehand. Xie Yixuan snorted. If we continue to sit here and wait, I'm afraid the entire Tai Ching sect will revere Yi Zan. When that time comes, there won't be a place for us. Many elders agreed with those words. Originally, they didn't take Yi Zan, who was of a low level, seriously. So what if the sect master handpicked the head of the elders? How could a rank 2 human realm warrior get chosen? Who would have thought that Yi Zan was so good at buying people's hearts with night luminescent pearls, crystal ice chalcedony, water and fire talismans, and so on? From the sect master to the disciples, there was no one he couldn't bribe. He had even bought over a few of the elders. That was why not all the elders had participated in the plan. I think after this incident, they should understand that those things are just worldly possessions. So what if they have a lot of spirit stones or wealth? In the face of great strength, everything is just fleeting clouds. If Yi Zan was standing in front of them, he would definitely tell them that they were overthinking it. One must know that even when the weakest person ever smacked a stack of water and fire talismans down, the victim would be killed by the explosive damage. As the saying goes, quality over quantity. Elder Xie is right. I'm sure the sect master will understand that that brat is of no use. When the time comes, we'll jointly expel him. Xie Yixuan's plan was good, but they underestimated Yi Zan. Shen Hai got up slowly, now, it's time for us to go back and be the saviors. In the minds of the elders, they could already see the disciples jumping for joy and cheering at them. However, he realized that the entrance of the Tai Ching sect was completely silent. There was not a single person, not even the Blood Soul sect. The situation was a little different from what they had imagined. The second elder's gaze fell on Xie Yixuan. Elder Xie, didn't you say that the Blood Soul sect would attack? Look at this, it doesn't look like an attack. That's impossible, Xie Yixuan said with a frown. I received accurate news that the Blood Soul sect will indeed make their move today. Could it be that they had already broken in? But even so, there should have been conflicts and disputes. Logically speaking, it shouldn't be so quiet. Could it be that your information is wrong, or that the Blood Soul sect has suddenly given up? The crowd walked in hesitantly and found the disciples of the Tai Ching sect and the Shang Yun sect in the square, which were both also thinking about life. Meanwhile, the Blood Soul sect and the others were all tied up on the ground. Xie Yixuan, Shen Hai, and the others looked at each other and saw the shock on each other's faces. The scene was completely different from what they had imagined. Logically, they thought that without the sect master present and the few powerful elders present to hold down the fort, those before them simply did not have the strength to fight back against the Blood Soul sect's arrival. The third elder lowered his voice, the situation doesn't seem right. Xie Yixuan's face turned pale, I know, you don't have to tell me that. Shen Hai was the first to ask, what happened? The disciples of the Tai Ching sect told Shen Hai, Xie Yixuan, and the others what they had said to the Shang Yun sect. The elders looked incredulous. You're saying that Yi Zan went to cause trouble for the Blood Soul sect? They took a deep breath. Are you guys looking for death? As they weren't at the scene, they didn't know what had happened. They couldn't imagine how Yi Zan had easily crushed the attack of the Blood Soul sect. Yi Zan has gone crazy. Why didn't you stop him? 
the Blood Soul Sects base camp is not somewhere you can break into as you please. These B asterisk stars were only sent by them to spearhead the attack. There must be many experts in the Blood Soul Sect. You would be lucky to even land a scratch on them, but you still provoked them? The Blood Soul Sect disciples and elders on the ground were all severely injured, so Xie Yixuan did not know what their cultivation levels were. If he had known, he would not have said such things. But, the disciples of the Tai Ching sect wanted to explain but were interrupted by Shen Hai and the others, but what? Hurry up and catch him back. I think you guys have really gone crazy under Yi Zan's leadership. Yi Zan thinks that he can settle everything with spirit stones because of his wealth. In the eyes of the Blood Soul sect, he's just a foolish fat sheep that voluntarily knocks on their door and sacrifices himself. He's hopelessly stupid. It's fine if he's going to die alone, but he dragged our entire Tai Ching sect into this. He doesn't know the consequences of his actions. Just as Xie Yixuan and the others were cursing and thinking that Yi Zan had caused a huge mess, a deep male voice suddenly rang out. Who are you calling a fat sheep? Xie Yixuan replied without thinking, of course it's. After seeing who it was, everyone was stunned. Yi Zan and the others appeared in front of them unscathed, completely different from the sorry state they had imagined. Xie Yixuan blurted out subconsciously, You're back so soon. The people from the Tai Ching sect and Shang Yun sect were in disbelief. Yi Zan and the others had only been gone for a short while. Could it be that the Blood Soul sect had already been dealt with in such a short time? Shen Hai looked them up and down. They didn't have any injuries, however, the Blood Soul sect was powerful. It was said that the sect leader alone was already a sky rank, not to mention the elders. None of them were easy to deal with. Moreover, they were either bandits or had committed many evil deeds. Otherwise, the nearby major sects wouldn't be so afraid of them. No, you didn't attack the Blood Soul sect at all. After listening to Shen Hai's words, everyone loosened up. Even those from the Tai Ching sect who did not join the trip thought so and could not help but feel relieved. After all, the Blood Soul sect was not easy to deal with, they did not want to get themselves into trouble. While Shen Hai and the others couldn't help but show a look of contempt, the third elder said in a strange tone, I thought Elder Yi really went to find trouble with the Blood Soul sect. Seems like it was just a bluff. Xie Yixuan took the opportunity to attack. Elder Yi, you're too rash. Even if you managed to block the Blood Soul sect's attack, you just got lucky. Yet you're still thinking of attacking the Blood Soul sect? Fat hope. It's inevitable for young people to lose their cool and think that they'll have a chance after capturing a few people from the Blood Soul sect. However, in my opinion, Elder Yi, you need to think twice before acting. The great elder and the others are right. Elder Yi, what you're doing is too dangerous. All of us from the Tai Ching sect combined are no match for the Blood Soul sect, let alone you with the few people you brought. The crowd chimed in, not noticing that the people on Yi Zan's side were looking at them as if they were fools. What crap were they saying? Li Yu almost couldn't help but curse internally. Just as he was about to say something, he was stopped by Yi Zan. Then, Great Elder, Yi Zan said with a dry smile. May I ask, where were you when the sect was in trouble? He had found it strange before. All at the same time, those powerful elders were not in the sect. One or two of them missing would be understandable, but it was too much of a coincidence for all of them to be gone. Now that Shen Hai, Xie Yixuan, and the others had appeared together, it further confirmed Yi Zan's guess. Facing Yi Zan's deep eyes, for some reason, the elders felt an inexplicable sense of guilt, as if they had been seen through. Xie Yixuan replied calmly, The few of us have a secret mission. That's why we left the sect. We rushed back as soon as we received the news. Why, do you have doubts, Elder Yi? So what if Yi Zan was suspicious? He didn't have any evidence, but it was a pity that the originally flawless plan had been ruined by Yi Zan. They didn't know that an even greater blow was yet to come. Yi Zan said slowly, then, since we're already out of the woods, I have a mission for you to finish. When Shen Hai, Xie Yixuan, and the others heard that, they suddenly showed an expression of disbelief. Although Yi Zan was the head of all the elders, it had always been in name only. They did not believe in him in their hearts and just barely maintained the peace on the surface. Yi Zan probably knew his own limits, and it was the first time he gave orders like that. The fourth elder smiled coldly and said, I wonder what instructions you have for me. Anyone could hear the indifference and ridicule in his words. Although the Blood Soul sect has already been reduced to ruins, there should still be many treasures left. Retrieve them and store them in our warehouse. Hearing that, 
Everyone's mouth fell open, and they looked at Yi Zan in disbelief. Elder Yi, I'm afraid you haven't woken up from your sleep today. What are you talking about? The Blood Soul Sect, reduced to ruins? You're bragging too much. Did you annihilate the Blood Soul Sect in such a short time? Were they already dead or did they stand there for you to beat? Elder Yi, I must say that while your strength is lacking, you have a pretty strong imagination. Your eloquence is truly impressive to say that the large Blood Soul Sect was destroyed by you. The disciples behind Yi Zan recalled the scene back then. It had seemed like the Blood Soul Sect was beaten up on the spot. Even their sect master had not been spared. Li Yu finally couldn't hold back. The third elder, just because you can't do it doesn't mean that Elder Yi can't do it. Shen Hai, Xie Yixuan, and the others were furious. It was equivalent to saying that they were not as good as Yi Zan. If you don't believe me, you can send someone to take a look. When Xie Yixuan heard Yi Zan's words, his heart skipped a beat. Even the Shang Yun sect could not believe it. The third elder decided to fight Yi Zan to the end. All right, then I'll personally go and see if what you said is true. Shen Hai, the second elder, and the others set off in a grandiose manner. The people from the Shang Yun sect also ran over to watch the show. However, after seeing the scene in front of them clearly, everyone couldn't help but swallow their saliva. Aa, we really in the right place? Yun Tianyi asked with a trembling voice. Is this the Blood Soul Sect? There wasn't even a trace of the Blood Soul Sect in the ruins before them other than bits of bloodied skeleton bones. Everyone had such a shocked expression. It was as if the place had been raised to the ground by some powerful force. Who would have thought that the sect that once dominated a region and committed all sorts of evil would end up in such a tragic way? If they had not seen it with their own eyes, the elders would not have believed it. The Tai Ching sect had only been established for a short time, yet it had already gone up against the Blood Soul sect and even reduced them to ruins. Was it really a human who did it? It was simply too ruthless. Even the people from the Shang Yun sect could not help but exclaim, Elder Yi is awesome. Shen Hai, Xie Yixuan, and the others, having heard the same line over and over in their own sect darkened their faces immediately. What kind of monsters are these people from the Tai Ching sect? They even dared to attack the Blood Soul sect, and most importantly, they won. In the eyes of the Shang Yun sect, it was akin to an egg shattering against a rock without breaking. It was extremely ridiculous and unrealistic. Yun Tianyi, quick on the uptake, knew he couldn't afford to offend the Tai Ching sect. Congratulations to your sect. Now that the biggest problem has been solved, you no longer have any worries. His words were obvious. After all, even the enemy's base camp had been taken care of. There was no need to worry about anyone seeking revenge. Furthermore, the Blood Soul sect had committed many evil deeds and had bad relations with other sects. Even if the other sects learned of the matter, they wouldn't say anything. Instead, they would praise the Tai Ching sect for punishing evil and promoting good. In the face of Yun Tianyi's congratulatory words, Shen Hai and Xie Yixuan's expressions were not any better. All they could hear was praise for Yi Zan. Their expressions were as if they had swallowed something bad. Yi Zan's level 2 human rank cultivation is fake. After all, he annihilated the Blood Soul sect. The fourth elder couldn't help but curse. The tables had turned on them. After this incident, it was easy to imagine Yi Zan's reputation and prestige in the sect. The third elder felt his vision go dark, he took a deep breath, then what should we do now? Having mocked Yi Zan earlier and said such harsh words, they really regretted their actions to death. Yun Tianyi wasn't stupid. From their conversation, he could tell that Shen Hai, Xie Yixuan, and the others were demeaning Yi Zan. They probably didn't have a good relationship with Yi Zan so he immediately gave up on trying to win them over. Given how Yi Zan led the battle from beginning to end and defeated the Blood Soul sect, Yun Tianyi could also tell that Yi Zan was the real powerful and mysterious figure. Lowering his voice, Yun Tianyi ordered, quickly send a message back, ask the sect master to prepare more gifts. That disciple, a little slow to catch on, couldn't help but say, Elder Yun, we've already prepared enough gifts, he he. One must know that when the Shang Yun sect visited the other large sects, they didn't spend as much money. Yun Tianyi couldn't help but roll his eyes. Do other sects have the strength to destroy the Blood Soul sect? There would be no realization without comparison. Previously, they did not know that the Tai Ching sect had such terrifying strength. In the end, they underestimated them. They couldn't afford to present the little gifts they had prepared. Hence, without giving any gifts, they left in a hurry. 
Shen Hai, Xie Yishuan, and the rest returned to the sect in a daze. They did not even dare to look at the eyes of the disciples. Although they didn't say anything, their attitude undoubtedly explained everything. The news of the Tai Ching sect attacking the Blood Soul sect spread quickly. Everyone's first reaction was disbelief, thinking that it was just a rumor. However, when they saw the ruins of the Blood Soul sect, they realized that everything was true. Did you hear? The newly established Tai Ching sect actually annihilated the Blood Soul sect? No way, no way, that's outrageous. Spread the word that Tai Ching sect's elder Yi Zan led a group of disciples to provoke the Blood Soul sect. What? There's still someone who is not afraid of death these days. He actually dared to take the initiative to cause trouble for the Blood Soul sect. Who is this person? Why have I never heard of him before? A man called Yi Zan in the Tai Ching sect single handedly destroyed the entire Blood Soul sect. Even the sect master of the Blood Soul sect had been killed by him with a single slap. As the rumors spread, they became more and more outrageous, so much so that no one believed them. However, the Blood Soul sect's ruins were right there, so they had no choice but to believe it. As for what the truth was, perhaps only the Tai Ching sect themselves knew. However, one thing was for sure. Yi Zan's prestige had reached an unprecedented height, which made Shen Hai, Xie Yixuan, and the others even more unhappy. Yi Zan himself didn't feel much about it. At the moment, he was studying the new mission issued by the system. Ding! Random mission. Consume 10,000 tons of supreme grade spiritual plants. For feeding spiritual beasts. If you feed them spiritual plants for a long time, you can improve the quality and level of the spiritual beasts. Mission success reward. 3000 prodigal points mission failure will result in the immediate deduction of prodigal points. Effective period, 7 days. 10,000 tons of supreme grade spiritual plants. Yi Zan was a little dumbfounded. How could he use up so many points? However, the effect duration was pretty long. He realized that as he completed more missions, the more prodigal points he received. It might be related to the difficulty of the mission. However, there was a problem Yi Zan currently faced. He didn't even have a spiritual beast to feed. He couldn't raise a spiritual beast on another's behalf before selling it back either, since the system wouldn't count that. It seemed that he could only start from the sect. Yi Zan prepared to find the seventh elder, who was in charge of the sect's matters. After hearing his intention, the seventh elder was stunned. Spiritual beast park? Elder Yi, are you pulling my leg? Generally, large sects would build a spirit beast garden to provide spirit beasts for their disciples. The Tai Ching sect had just been established, and there were still many things that had not been fully built, such as the spirit beast garden. So, even if Yi Zan wanted a spirit beast, the seventh elder couldn't help. The seventh elder probed, if you want spirit beasts, why don't you go to the market to take a look? Perhaps there will be good quality ones there. Yi Zan shook his head, but a few neighing sounds came from the distance. He couldn't help but ask, what are those? Those are just some ordinary beasts that the disciples brought back, they have neither any demonic power nor intelligence. Yi Zan's eyes showed he was deep in thought, soon, Han Yu suddenly gathered everyone. Yi Zan didn't know what she had been busy with recently, but it was obvious that she was a little tired. Even so, she was still beautiful, maybe even more beautiful in the frail sense. I've gathered everyone here today because the sect returning ceremony is about to begin. Everyone's expressions became serious at the mention of the sect returning ceremony. They hadn't seen Han Yu the past few days, and even the matter of merging the Blood Soul sect had been handed over to her subordinates. It was because she had been preoccupied with the ceremony, aside from her personal matters. The other elders had all heard of it, but it was Yi Zan's first time hearing it, and his face immediately revealed a somewhat fresh expression. It turned out that there were seven big sects in the fantasy world. They had developed into a system and controlled all kinds of resources, such as secret realms, cultivation techniques, pills, magical treasures, spiritual beasts, and so on. Average materials were still fairly obtainable, but the top grade ones were almost monopolized by them. They were equivalent to multinational listed companies in modern society. Other sects of various sizes, scattered across the country, were like small companies. If they wanted to succeed, they had to gain the large sect's investment in order to obtain resources. Otherwise, they would not be able to support their own long-term development. Then, the problem was, how could they attract the favor of the top sects among so many other sects? The method was to prove one's own strength. 
only by letting them see one's value would one invest in nurturing them. The sect leader would lead a team to prove himself and become a small sect under the protection of a big sect. That was the common belief of everyone. Over time, it had evolved into today's sect returning ceremony, which would only be held once every 50 years. After hearing that, Yi Zan couldn't help but mutter, I didn't expect the system to be so advanced. Isn't it no different from attracting investment in the modern world? As everyone knows, the sect returning ceremony is about to begin. There are two main points to be examined. One is the strength of the disciples, and the other is the strength of the sect master. Thinking of that, Han Yu had a headache. If she had known that the lower realm was so troublesome, she would have thought of other ways. She herself was still fine. Although her strength had not yet recovered, she could still deal with the sect returning ceremony. However, most of the sect's disciples entered via trading spirit stones, so their aptitudes were mixed, which was a bit troublesome. In order to improve the strength of the disciples, I've specially hired Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi. I hope you can inform the disciples not to miss this opportunity. All the elders were in an uproar. They said in disbelief, Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi? The sect head actually had the means to invite the him over? I heard that Alchemy King Ji Yuzai's disciples are all very strong. Many sects want to draw them to their side, but they didn't succeed. Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi formed his own sect, and ordinary people don't dare to provoke him. Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi may have just entered the sky rank, but his pill refining skills were something everyone looked up to. Because he was always in seclusion, he rarely asked about the outside world, and there were endless people who came to ask for pills. Even some of the big sects had difficulty inviting him. They never thought that he would agree to the Tai Ching sect's invitation this time, it was really unexpected. As everyone knew, one could offend anyone but those who knew alchemy. No one dared to force their request on him. After all, who hadn't been injured and bled before? Furthermore, alchemy king Ji Yu Shi had saved many important figures and had good relations with many major powers. To offend such a person was no different from courting death. Han Yu had spent a lot of spirit stones and resources on him. If she hadn't destroyed the blood soul sect and obtained a lot of magical treasures and spirit pills, she probably wouldn't have been able to afford his fee. Other than that, she also took out some things unique to the upper realm. Only then was she able to convince alchemy king Ji Yu Shi. I have to thank Elder Yi this time. If it weren't for the bountiful harvest from the blood soul sect, I'm afraid we wouldn't have had this opportunity. Hearing that, Xie Yixuan and the other's eyes darkened. They couldn't help but feel a little jealous. Yi Zan had actually stolen the limelight again. It's my duty, Yi Zan said very modestly, Sect Master, you're too kind. In addition, everyone must urge the disciples to cultivate diligently. We should also prepare on our end. We can't neglect warmly welcoming Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi, lest we be criticized by others. After Han Yu finished giving instructions, she suddenly said, Elder Yi, please stay. I have something to discuss with you. Since Yi Zan was the only one Han Yu asked to stay behind, everyone could not help but feel a little jealous. Xie Yixuan secretly clenched his fists, and the few of them gathered together in private. Ever since the incident with the Blood Soul sect, they had lay low, perhaps because they had suffered too great a blow. After all, they had originally wanted to use the opportunity to establish their prestige and ostracize Yi Zan. Who would have thought that he would benefit instead? Not only did they create the opportunity for Yi Zan to show his skills, but they also made him glorious with one battle. Besides, his prestige and reputation in the hearts of the disciples grew higher and higher. Thinking of that, their expressions turned ugly. We were too careless about the Blood Soul sect, not knowing Yi Zan was so capable. Maybe he hid his strength and held back. We can't let our guard down next time. If such a thing happened a few more times, they would really lose their standing in the sect. Shen Hai's eyes flashed, and he sighed. Let the past stay in the past. The sect returning ceremony is about to begin. If we can make a contribution in this matter, we will have a chance. The third elder snorted and said sarcastically, What chance do we have? Just now, the sect master asked that kid to stay behind alone. Meanwhile, Xie Yixuan seemed to have thought of something. After a moment of silence, he said, Speaking of which, the Xie clan does have some friendship with Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi. If we can make Yi Zan offend Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi or make a mistake in the returning sect ceremony, I'm sure the sect master won't be able to tolerate him no matter how great his contribution is. Upon hearing that, everyone's eyes lit up. Could it be that you have a plan? They looked at each other and smiled with tacit understanding. 
At that moment, Yi Zan still did not know that Xie Yixuan and the others wanted to take advantage of the sect returning ceremony to make a big deal out of it. Even if he knew, he would not care. Only he and Han Yu were left in the hall. Yi Zan could clearly feel an inexplicable power sweeping across his body, but there was no killing intent. May I know why you are looking for me? He asked calmly. The Blood Soul sect matters all thanks to you. Han Yu looked Yi Zan up and down. She didn't expect a mere level 2 human to be able to resist the Blood Soul sect's attack. He even led the disciples to counterattack and annihilate the Blood Soul sect. If her strength was restored, annihilating the Blood Soul sect would be a piece of cake, however, she couldn't do it at present, while Yi Zan did it effortlessly, it was thought provoking. Could he be hiding his strength? However, based on her divine sense, Yi Zan was genuine and did not have any hidden motive. Or perhaps Yi Zan was so special that even Han Yu couldn't see through him, but what was his purpose in doing so? Han Yu took a deep look at Yi Zan and pretended to be casual. After the incident, I went to the ruins to take a look. Most of the spiritual energy had dissipated, leaving only a little bit of power. I heard from the disciples that you borrowed the power of the water and fire talismans. Yi Zan nodded. He had nothing to hide. How could he possess so much spiritual energy? Did he reincarnate? Or was he from the upper realm like her? And he even said that he used some special item? Han Yu's mind was filled with all sorts of thoughts, but one thing was for sure. Yi Zan didn't seem to be of any threat at the moment, and he might even be of help to her. This time, your contribution cannot be denied, but I have some miscellaneous matters to attend to and haven't had the time to reward you. After the sect returning ceremony is over, I will definitely reward you well. It is my duty. You are being too polite. Seeing that Yi Zan was so tactful and didn't take credit for it, Han Yu was more satisfied. No matter what, I should still give you the reward you deserve. Since she wanted to win over Yi Zan, Han Yu would not be stingy. With a flash of light, a book appeared in her hand. You can take this, Tai Shuen breathing technique, and learn it. It will be of great benefit to you in the future. Flowing with golden light, the three gold stamped characters seemed to be injected with life, looking particularly extraordinary. That cultivation method was extremely precious even in the upper realm, but Han Yu was so generous in taking it out, it could be seen how much she valued Yi Zan. Yi Zan didn't stand on ceremony and replied directly, Thank you, sect master. Han Yu still had things to deal with, so she said a few words of encouragement to Yi Zan before letting him leave. When Yi Zan returned to his room, the system prompt suddenly sounded. In view of the host's good performance recently, a mysterious reward has been activated. Hearing that, Yi Zan couldn't help but be curious, what would the mysterious reward be? You've been rewarded with three lucky wheel of fortune spins. Looking at the wheel floating in the air, he found it similar to a modern lottery, it was shining with a five-colored light and had a strong presence, it was hard to ignore it. Yi Zan was stunned. The wheel of fortune? He looked at it for a while. There were countless reward boxes on it, including all kinds of magic treasures, pills, and cultivation methods. In ascending order of rarity was white and green light, followed by blue light, yellow, orange, red, and purple. The golden light was the least, so Yi Zan guessed that the gold color should be the grand prize. He remembered his luck at lotteries in his previous life and fell silent. Congratulations to the host for obtaining an essence replenishment pill. Yi Zan looked at the wheel that stopped in the white grid. His eyes didn't even change, and he wasn't surprised at all. Congratulations to the host for obtaining an essence replenishment pill. One must know that he had absolutely rotten luck. In all his previous lucky draws, he had to spend a lot of money to get a prize. He didn't expect that even after reincarnating and transmigrating, his luck was still so bad. There was only one chance left. Yi Zan took a deep breath and watched as the needle shook and finally stopped on the white grid. No way. All three draws were white, his face was incredibly dark. Just as Yi Zan's heart was stuck in his throat, the needle tilted slightly and landed on the blue grid next to the white one. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the heaven flipping seal. Name Yi Zan, host is recommended to change your name to Yi Baishan. Age 20. Fortunately, you still have time to work hard. Realm Rank 2 Human Realm, created by Celestial Treasures. Constitution. One in a million strong constitution. Cultivation techniques. Mysterious hidden steps, holy light guide, and Tai Shuen breathing technique. Items. 
Newbie gift pack, used, 2 essence replenishment pills, heaven flipping seal, damaged. Prodigal points. 4000, one small step forward, requires more effort. Essence replenishment pill. Instantly recovers a portion of essence. Can be used limitlessly without any side effects. May not be effective in serious situations. Heaven flipping seal. Damaged. Limited usage. If used beyond the limit, it will be completely damaged and unusable. The essence replenishment pill that Yi Zan had just won was of no use to him now, but the heaven flipping seal was worth studying. Its name sounded very powerful. Looking at its introduction and power, Yi Zan was a little surprised. If it wasn't in a damaged state, it would probably be more than enough to be placed in the golden grid. Perhaps his luck was not all that bad. It just so happened that he didn't have any magic tools on hand, so the heaven flipping seal was quite effective in both defense and attack. In addition, since he had also obtained a lot of prodigal points from the previous task, Yi Zan did not hesitate to spend half of his points on the Tai Xuan breathing technique. Soon, Yi Zan closed his eyes and entered a state of meditation. With the rise and fall of his chest, there was a faint rhythm between his breaths. The spiritual energy all around, as if effortlessly guided by something, gathered and floated around Yi Zan, scrambling to enter his body. That scene made people envious. As time passed, the rich spiritual energy in the surroundings accumulated enough to form white gas. The gas was still transforming, gradually becoming transparent and looking purer. Having seemingly disappeared, the energy was all absorbed by Yi Zan's body without any waste. If Han Yu was there, she would be surprised to see the strange scene. The spiritual energy in the room was almost the same as in the upper realm. After an unknown amount of time, Yi Zan slowly opened his eyes. Even with the enhancement of his prodigal points, he had only cultivated half of it and had not fully mastered it. From that, one could see how profound the Taishuan breathing technique was. However, whether it was used in conjunction with mysterious hidden steps or holy light guide, it could achieve twice the result with half the effort. For the next few days, Yi Zan locked himself in his room to study, but he didn't know that alchemy king Ji Yu Shi had already arrived at Tai Ching's sect with his disciples. Considering Yi Zan's way of doing things, Han Yu guessed he didn't like to deal with outsiders, so she left the reception of Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi to Shen Hai and the other elders. After receiving news of Alchemy King Ji Yu Zai's arrival, everyone came to the sect gate early in the morning to wait, but Yi Zan was nowhere to be seen. Only then did Han Yu recall that she had not seen him for a few days. What has Elder Yi been busy with recently? Why don't I see him? Xie Yixuan had sent people to watch Yi Zan's every move. When he thought of the news his men had reported, he suddenly revealed a look of disbelief. I don't know what he's been doing in his room for the past few days, sometimes, he would run to the stables. When the others heard that, they were immediately puzzled, why would he run to the stables? Who knows? In any case, this is good. I don't think it will disrupt our plan. If we can successfully pull Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi to our side, we will make a great contribution during the sect returning ceremony. Everyone felt that it made sense and immediately threw the matter to the back of their minds. Meanwhile, in the air, a horse carriage sped through like a shooting star. Its speed was unbelievable. Despite clearly traveling in the air, it was as if it moving on flat ground alongside the wind. Although the interior of the carriage was simply decorated, it was low-key and luxurious, which showed the extraordinary nature of the owner. Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi and a few other disciples were sitting in the carriage. Master, why did you refuse Tai Gang sect's invitation and instead accept Tai Ching sect's invitation? It's just a newly established sect, so it's beneath you. The old man in the carriage slowly opened his eyes, and a golden light suddenly appeared, filled with supreme majesty. He was wearing a long white robe. Whether it was the sleeves or the hems of the robe, there were exquisite leaf patterns embroidered on them. They looked very lifelike. He was the revered alchemy king Ji Yu Shi. Although the Tai Ching sect has just been established, I've heard that it's quite powerful. It even destroyed the blood soul sect, which is a dominant force. From that, it can be seen that they're not small fry. Sun Sahao didn't think much of it. Master, you said that it's just a rumor. Who knows what methods they used? Even if they destroyed the blood soul sect, it's just a fluke. It doesn't mean anything. Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi rarely accepted invitations, and all the places he went to were powerful sects with deep foundations. It was the first time he visited a small sect like the Tai Ching sect. The disciples were obviously unhappy, 
but since alchemy king Ji Yushi had made his decision, they couldn't change it. Through the window, they could see white clouds floating in vast mountains. Meanwhile, the buildings below were faintly visible. Sun Sahau curled his lips, it's nothing much. In his opinion, Tai Ching sect was no different from those small sects in the mountains. There was a hiss in the sky, and a small black dot was rapidly approaching. Shen Hai and Xie Yishuan could not help but be shocked. They were here, soon, a carriage stopped in front of the crowd. The creature pulling the carriage looked similar to a horse. It was huge, but it had wings and a single horn. It was covered in purple patterns, and there were faint flashes of lightning around it. It was the spiritual beast, Thunder. It was said that Thunder could travel a thousand miles in a day and was an excellent mount, however, it was rare in the market and could not be bought even with money. But now, there were four of the beasts in front of them, and they were even being used to pull the carriage. This showed how generous Alchemy King, Ji Yu Shi, was. Thinking of Han Yu's request, everyone did not dare to be negligent. Welcome Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi. A faint medicinal fragrance wafted through the air. Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi strode out. With a single glance, he already knew these people's cultivation and strength. On the other hand, a few disciples had their eyes above their heads. They looked at the people present and could not help but mutter, they can't be compared to those powerful sects indeed. Shen Hai, Xie Yixuan, and the rest naturally heard it as well. Their expressions stiffened slightly, but they remained calm. After all, they couldn't afford to offend alchemy king Ji Yu Shi. The few thunder spiritual beasts had already been taken away by the Tai Ching sect disciples to rest. Shen Hai walked a step forward and said, Alchemy King, it's been a long journey, why don't you? Before he could finish, he was interrupted. No need. Let's end this quickly. Your sect master has invited me to give a lecture. Let's start now. Although Shen Hai was a little unhappy to be interrupted, he did not dare to show any dissatisfaction when he thought of the identity of the person. So, he quickly agreed. All right, I'll gather all the disciples now. Please wait a moment, Alchemy King. Shen Hai didn't dare to delay any further and immediately sent someone to inform all the disciples. On the other side, Yi Zan carried a lot of things to the stable with a regular expression. The people here seemed to be used to his arrival. They greeted him enthusiastically, Elder Yi is here to feed the horses again today. Yi Zan nodded and handed over a few spirit stones to them. Their smiley faces became even brighter. These spirit stones could probably be exchanged for quite a lot of gold, silver, and treasure. As the stables were filled with ordinary horses with no future or income, even the low grade odd job workers did not come here. Therefore, the people who were hired to look after the horses were the villagers nearby. Usually, they would feed the horses and clean the place. The work was effortless. But recently, the job of feeding the horses had been taken over by Yi Zan. Looking at his back as he walked away, the villagers felt weird. He doesn't look like an elder, he's just no different from us, and he even fed the horses himself. These are just ordinary horses. What's the point of going through so much trouble? It wasn't that they were belittling Yi Zan. Instead, they were very welcoming of his arrival because he was easy to approach and generous. John Lao San, you're the only one who talks a lot. Elder Yi is so good. He gives spirit stones every time he comes, which can be exchanged for a lot of money. How I wish he comes often. Zhang Laosan scratched his head and smiled embarrassedly. That's not what I meant. I just feel that it's strange. Aren't the elders all very busy and have their eyes on the top of their heads? Just look at the disciples that we usually meet. Which one of them isn't arrogant and always ignores us? When he said this, the others thought the same too. I've secretly inquired about it. Elder Yi's status in the Tai Ching sect is very high, and he is quite respected by those disciples. Oh my god, this is the first time I've seen such an approachable person who feeds the horses personally. Maybe this is his special hobby. Stop talking about this, it's not good if others hurt us. No matter how kind he is, he is still an elder. But then again, the fodder given by Elder Yi is really good, I've never seen it before. There were a lot of grass dregs on the ground, obviously from Yi Zan. John Laosan casually picked up a little, and a strange fragrance assailed his nose. He couldn't help but feel surprised. John Laosan couldn't help but tease, you guys smell it, there's even a fragrance. I'm afraid that this thing can even be eaten by humans, let alone horses. The crowd burst into laughter, but they did not notice the abundant spiritual energy on the grass. After all, they were just ordinary people, 
and they did not draw qi into their bodies. They naturally did not know what these things were. If it was an ordinary disciple, he would be able to feel the spiritual energy within it even if he did not know what it was. A neighing sound came from not far away, which made John Laosan and the others even more surprised. It's strange though. Why haven't we seen these animals so excited when we fed them in the past? Elder Yi only fed them once and they seemed to have recognized him. They started to neigh from afar before he even came close. That's right. Elder Yi really has good means. Perhaps this is the special thing about cultivators. Yi Zan still didn't know about the gossip. Hearing his footsteps, the horses seemed to know he was coming. They neighed even more as if they were urging him to come. I'm here. I'm here. Yi Zan comforted the horses, and they seemed to understand him. Their voices gradually became softer, and their hooves kept digging the ground. They were obviously very excited. With a wave of his hand, everything in his hands fell into the stable like free cabbages. Looking at the horses eating hard, Yi Zan muttered to himself, You guys should be barely able to do it even without spiritual beasts. You've eaten so much of my spiritual herbs, so you have to put in some effort. Don't waste the food. The horses wagged their tails and made very loud sounds with their noses as if they were responding to Yi Zan. Shen Hai and the others welcomed the alchemy king into the sect. As they walked past the steps covered in night luminescent pearls and saw the crystal ice chalcedony that could be seen everywhere, even the knowledgeable them couldn't help but feel surprised. Master, it seems that Tai Ching sect is really as rich as those rumors say. Sun Sahao snorted, so what if they have a lot of spirit stones? If they don't have the corresponding strength, it's no different from a child swaggering around. Sooner or later, they'll bring disaster. Senior brother's words make sense. The few of them chatted for a moment. Their words revealed a little jealousy. Although they had seen a lot of good things after following the alchemy king for so many years, none of them were as extravagant as Tai Ching sect, so much so that even they were a little envious. Soon, all the disciples of Tai Ching sect were gathered. Even alchemy king Ji Yu Qi was shocked by this group of people. Of course, it wasn't because of how outstanding their talent was, but because the aura of these people was too low. There were even people of level 1 and 2 human realm. It made people wonder if they were just there to make up the numbers. What could these people learn? He was afraid that these people would not be able to get anything from what he said, no matter how hard he tried. It would be somewhat hard to teach even if an alchemy emperor was here, let alone an alchemy king. Master. The Tai Ching sect only looks at the number of spirit stones paid when accepting disciples. I heard that one of their elders is still at the second level of human realm. Hearing Sun Sahao's words, the contempt in Alchemy King Ji Yuzai's eyes grew, if I knew this would happen, I wouldn't have agreed to it. If it was not for the fact that Han Yu's offer was too tempting, Ji Yu Shi would never have agreed to it. If others knew that he did the teaching, it would definitely damage his reputation. Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi, please. Facing Shen Hai and others' respectful invitation, Alchemy King Ji Yu Zai's attitude became colder and colder. The disciples of Tai Ching sect didn't discover the undercurrent, instead, they became extremely excited and couldn't wait to see him up close. It's really Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi, sect master is really amazing, she can even invite such a big shot over. I've only heard of his name before, but now only I can see him in person. He's indeed worthy of his reputation. Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi actually rejected Taiyang Gang sect's invitation, so we must cherish this rare opportunity. I heard that alchemy is very difficult, and it also requires extraordinary talent, I don't know if we can do it. I also don't expect to be as amazing as Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi. I'm already satisfied with just being able to refine some ordinary healing pills. This way, it can be considered a life-saving method no matter where I go in the future. The disciples below the stage were discussing fervently, Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi and the few disciples beside him were looking at them with contempt. Sun Sahao couldn't help but ask, Master, are you really going to give a lecture to these people? Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi laughed coldly, in their dreams. These people don't even have the qualifications to listen to my lecture. As his eyes moved, he already had a decision in his heart. As we all know, spiritual plants are the most important in order to make good pills. Other than those natural wild spiritual plants, most of the spiritual plants are artificially cultivated. Although there are ordinary spiritual plants, supreme grade high rank medicinal pills require supreme grade spiritual plants. However, most of the precious spiritual plants are guarded by fierce demonic beasts and are rare in number. 
Therefore, the main source still relies on artificial cultivation. Not only does it require spiritual seeds, but it also requires spiritual dew and so on to grow spiritual plants. From this, it could be seen that precious spiritual plants aren't that easy to cultivate. Not only do they require many conditions, but they also have strict requirements on the living environment. Even someone like me doesn't have many spiritual plants in my hands. Everyone was mesmerized and didn't notice anything wrong, instead, they felt that Alchemy King Ji Yuzai's explanation was logical. After all, spiritual plants were essential for alchemy, so it didn't matter if he talked about how to grow them. However, the other elders realized that something was wrong, he did not get to the point even after talking for half a day. He was only talking about how to grow spiritual plants and how hard it was to cultivate them. The sixth elder pulled on the sleeve of the seventh elder and said, why do I feel that alchemy king Ji Yushi doesn't seem to want to impart his pill refining experience to the disciples? He keeps talking about spiritual plants. Hearing his words, the other elders also felt the same. Even if they had a thorough understanding of planting, there was no place in Tai Ching's sect that was suitable for planting spiritual plants. Moreover, it was impossible for everyone to plant spiritual plants even if they were proficient. Shen Hai coughed a few times and cleared his throat, Alchemy King Ji Yushi. I think we can stop here with your explanations regarding spiritual plants. All of our disciples would like to know about how you refine pills. Alchemy King Ji Yushi glanced at Shen Hai indifferently. Just a single glance from him was filled with immense pressure that could send chills down one's spine. This was the pressure of a superior. Are you teaching me what to do? I don't dare. Great elder, you're being a little too hasty. If you don't know how to grow spiritual plants, how can you refine medicinal pills in the future? These words seemed to be from the perspective of Tai Ching sect, but in fact, they were not very useful. They had no spiritual seeds or spiritual dew, so what was the use of the cultivation method? Sun Sahau and the others also chimed in, that's right. Master's words make sense. To do a good job, an artisan needs the best tools. You're not in this field, so it's understandable that you don't know the ins and outs. The few of them echoed each other, making Shen Hai somewhat embarrassed. But according to the current conditions of Tai Ching sect, Alchemy King Ji Yushi snorted coldly. His tone was filled with impatience. I can see that the Great Elder has his own idea. Since you're so good at talking, what do you need me for? Why don't you give a lecture instead? Shen Hai didn't dare to say anything more in the face of Alchemy King Ji Yushi and the other's overbearing attitude. He could only retreat dejectedly. The other elders also thought the scene was indescribable. The surrounding people looked at Ji Yushi with complicated expressions, making him furious. If you guys can do it, just go ahead. The other elders were silent. Even Shen Hai was at his wit's end when faced with Alchemy King Ji Yushi. It would be great if the sect master was here. Alchemy King Ji Yushi was invited by her, so she might have a plan. I'm afraid that the sect master won't be satisfied with Alchemy King Ji Yuzai's teaching either. If she were to pursue the matter, we would have to take the responsibility. After all, she had paid a huge price to hire him. What he taught them was just some knowledge on how to grow spiritual plants. It wasn't worth it, but they couldn't even say anything. Just as everyone was at their wit's end, a disciple ran over in a hurry. Oh no! What's the fuss about? Shen Hai said in a bad tone. Something happened in the stables. Alchemy King Ji Yuzai's spiritual beasts, Thunder, were injured. Shen Hai and the others were shocked and signaled the disciple to keep his voice down. However, it was already too late. When Sun Sahau and the others heard it, their faces suddenly darkened, thunder beasts were injured. What's going on? One had to know that the spiritual beast, thunder, was priceless. Even alchemy king Ji Yushi had obtained a few of them with great difficulty. Other than pulling the carriage, they were usually served good food and drink. How long had it been since they were injured? It just so happened that they weren't willing to stay, so there was a good opportunity to use this as a pretext to make a fuss. Sun Sahau was the first to make trouble. Master, I can see that Tai Ching sect has no respect for you at all. The spiritual beasts were brought away in a good state, but now they were injured in just half a day. They were simply deliberately neglected. To humiliate the protected was to humiliate the protector. The same went for the spiritual beast. Alchemy King Ji Yuzai's face darkened. Tai Ching sect must give me an explanation for this matter. Who dares to hurt our spiritual beasts? Is Tai Ching sect dissatisfied with us? Shen Hai was also worried about offending Alchemy King Ji Yushi, so he asked immediately, quickly tell us what happened. 
the pressure was immediately placed on the disciple. There's no spiritual beast garden in Tai Ching sect. Thinking that there's an open space in the back mountain, we intended to settle down the spiritual beasts there. Who knows when we passed by the stables, the spiritual beasts rushed over to the stables as if they went crazy, and the result was. What's the result? The disciple stammered, not knowing what to say, in the end, they were kicked by the horse in the stable. For a moment, everyone thought that they were hallucinating. On the other hand, Alchemy King Ji Yuzai's face suddenly darkened. He was certain that this was an excuse from Tai Ching sect. Sun Sahao said mockingly, Can't you make up a better excuse? The spiritual beasts were kicked by a horse in the stable? I think that someone hurt them deliberately, and you made up such a big lie to cover it up. Thunder beasts are spiritual beasts. Even if they're not offensive, they still have a certain degree of destructive power. Even ordinary demonic beasts can't cause any harm to them, let alone horses. Does Tai Ching sect take us for fools? Do you think people will believe this kind of excuse? Is this how you treat your guests? Or is it that Tai Ching sect's horses are particularly extraordinary and have eaten special elixirs? Sun Sahao mocked strangely, but he didn't expect that his words would be a prophecy. Shen Hai and the others were instantly rendered speechless by their words. Seeing that Alchemy King Ji Yushi was angered, he stuttered, perhaps there's some misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? I think your Tai Ching sect has gone too far? Even Shen Hai found it unbelievable that a spirit beast could be injured by an ordinary horse, let alone Alchemy King Ji Yushi and the others. What's the truth? I'm not lying, the disciple almost wanted to cry. Seeing that no one believed him, he said, everyone can go and take a look. The crowd walked over in disbelief. Along the way, Sun Sahao was still adding oil to the fire. Master, I don't think Tai Ching sect is sincere at all. Not only did they hurt our spiritual beasts, but they also came up with such an excuse. They're simply treating us like three-year-old children. I think we should just take this opportunity to leave. They're in the wrong anyway, and it's good for our reputation too. It is. How could thunder be injured by ordinary horses? They said it with certainty, but they didn't expect that they would be slapped in the face so quickly. Roar. Sun Sahau heard a roar, and his expression changed, this is the roar of thunder. Everyone couldn't help but pick up their pace. In addition to these roars, there were also a few faint neighs, but no one paid them any mind. Who is it that dares to hurt our spiritual beast? Sun Sahau was aggressive but all his words were suddenly stuck in his throat after seeing the scene in person. Thunder fell to the ground. Its snow-white fur was stained with a lot of dirt. A large horse hoof was reflected in everyone's sight. Seeing that its master had arrived, it was as if it had seen its savior. It struggled to get up but was once again kicked back by the horse's hooves, it was extremely embarrassing. The scene was beyond everyone's expectations. Whether it was Ji Yu Shi, the rest, or Shen Hai, they could not help but widen their eyes, thinking that they were hallucinating. It was indeed a horse's hoof, and there was no spiritual energy fluctuation on the horse's body, it was an ordinary horse. The person beside the horse was Yi Zan. For some reason, Shen Hai and the others' eyelids twitched when they saw his calm appearance, it seemed that nothing good happened every time they met him. Shen Hai said unhappily, what's going on here, Elder Yi? Yi Zan was also quite speechless, I was feeding the horses here, but these beasts barged in and wanted to snatch the food in the stable. No matter if it was a demonic beast, a spiritual beast, or an ordinary animal, they were all protective of their food. This was nature. The horses would not be polite in the face of a sudden intruder. If it were before, they would be afraid of thunder beasts, however, things were different now. Yi Zan's feeding of the spiritual plants every day had long changed them. It was not an exaggeration to say that they were reborn. Besides, the thunder beasts were ferocious when they came, and Yi Zan wouldn't let him be. Thus it became the scene everyone saw now, where thunder was being beaten. What nonsense are you talking about? Didn't horses eat grass? Would the spiritual beast, Thunder, do such a thing? Everyone's expression became even more strange. Sun Sahau said fiercely, I think you're just making things up. How can a horse defeat a spiritual beast? You must have done something in secret. Everyone's eyes fell on Thunder and then on the horses. There was nothing special about this horse, except that its fur was a little smoother, its body was strong, and it looked energetic and mighty. It seemed no different from most horses. In the eyes of mortals, it would be praised as a good horse, however, it was not enough in the eyes of cultivators. Any ordinary spiritual beast could deal with them. 
Yi Zhang was a little unhappy with these people's indiscriminate accusations. He could tell that they were the masters of these spiritual beasts, so he said coldly, It's the truth. I can't do anything if you don't believe me. You. One must know that alchemy king Ji Yu Shi was greatly respected no matter where he went. Even the sect masters of the great sects had to show him courtesy. And even his disciples were respected. They thought that coming to Tai Ching sect was already lowering their status. Even though Shen Hai and the others were respectful, it was also a matter of course. However, they never thought that they would encounter a person like Yi Zan. Very good, Tai Ching sect is powerful. You hurt our spiritual beasts, and now you connive your sect elders' arrogant words. Is this how you treat your guests? After saying that, Sun Sahao looked at Shen Hai and the others. Such a scene was exactly what they wanted. They couldn't wait for Yi Zan and Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi to get into a huge fight and offend them. Please calm down. Elder Yi is young and reckless, so he's inevitably insensible. Moreover, the sect master is very fond of him and he's the head of all the elders. Shen Hai seemed to be speaking up for Yi Zan, but in fact, he was adding oil to the fire, showing that Yi Zan's identity was not ordinary, and even they did not dare to offend him. Sure enough, Alchemy King Ji Yuzai's expression darkened, HMPH, I was wondering how a mere human realm level 2 could be so bold. So someone is backing Ji Yu up. At such a young age, you are already spouting such nonsense. You said that thunder ran to the stables on its own. How would they do such a thing? It's ridiculous. And you still say that it's food snatching? That's complete nonsense. We usually feed thunder with good things. Why would they care about your rotten grass? If Ji Yu Shi knew what Yi Zan was feeding the horses, he would not have been so confident. Yi Zan couldn't help but roll his eyes, it said the spiritual beasts will behave like the master. This is true. Seeing that Ji Yu Shi and the rest were about to explode, he continued, I fed them with spiritual plants. Sun Sahao and the others immediately burst into laughter. Their faces were full of contempt. What? Did I hear you wrong? You said you were feeding them with spiritual plants. What a joke! Who doesn't know how difficult it is to raise spiritual plants? You're feeding them to horses. Spiritual plants have strict requirements for the soil and environment, and they also need spiritual seeds and spiritual dew. Can your Tai Ching sect provide those things? In contrast to Alchemy King Ji Yuzai's attitude, the other disciples and elders of the Tai Ching sect all had strange expressions on their faces. Thinking back to Yi Zan's past actions, it might not be strange for him to do this. After all, he could even use the water and fire talismans as toilet paper, so what else couldn't he do? But those were spiritual plants. Only those with a strong foundation would feed the high quality spiritual beasts with spiritual plants. After all, good spiritual plants could improve the cultivation and rank of spiritual beasts. Even Ji Yu Shi was reluctant to feed thunder with the plants. Shen Hai, Xie Yixuan, and the others wanted to say something, but they didn't. They didn't believe that Yi Zan would do that. But the past flashed in their minds, and they were the ones who were slapped in the face every time. What's wrong with feeding the horses? I feel good at this. Don't tell me that lousy grass can become spiritual plants just by watering it with some spiritual dew, and pouring it with spiritual energy? Sun Sahao and the others didn't believe that Yi Zan could do such a thing. They thought he was just bragging. Even the spiritual plants we have in total are only a dozen jin. If we wait for those in Master's Medicine Garden to mature, the total would only be close to a hundred. Even so, such a quantity in stock were already higher than many aristocratic families and sects. Sun Sahau couldn't help but show a proud expression. His original intention was to show off. He didn't expect to meet a humble brag. Hearing this, Yi Zan couldn't help but show a sympathetic expression, then you guys are pitiful. No wonder the spiritual beasts came to other people's stables to steal food. It turns out that they can't get any from you guys. Seeing that Sun Sahau and the others' faces were twisted with anger, Yi Zan pretended that he didn't notice it and he continued to add, really pitiful. Not to mention Sun Sahau, even Alchemy King Ji Yuzai's face was filled with anger. His face was extremely dark. He gritted his teeth and squeezed out a sentence, Do you know what you just said? They were existences that were held in high regard wherever they went, and even those peak heaven realm powerhouses had to respect them. But now there was such a person who was only human realm level 2 dared to slap in their faces in public. In terms of sarcasm, no one dared to claim to be better than Yi Zan. Many Tai Ching sect disciples were holding back. If it wasn't for the timing and occasion, they would have laughed out loud. 
Even so, their shoulders were shaking violently, and it was clear that they were having a hard time holding it in. Elder Yi has done a beautiful job. I've already found this group of people unpleasant to the eye. So what if he's an alchemy king? Exactly. You can just say it directly that you look down on us but you are being sarcastic and think that you've been condescending. It's as if you've suffered a great grievance. It's said that money makes the world go round, since he received benefits from our sect master, he should teach us well. What an ungrateful person. He called himself an alchemy king but who knows how capable he is. Forget it, I'd better say less to avoid trouble. The people of the Tai Ching sect were whispering to each other. They didn't like alchemy king Ji Yu Shi but they didn't dare to say anything due to his prestige and the respect of Shen Hai and the others. Yi Zan's approach made some people feel relieved, so they also became bold to express their opinions. Alchemy king Ji Yu Shi heard them. Sun Sahao and the others became even angrier, wishing they could shut the people around them up. It was all because of the person in front of them who had started the trouble. A mere Tai Ching sect dares to be so arrogant, this is simply bullying. Do you think we are easy to be bullied? Yi Zan didn't mean to mock Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi. After all, the 50 kilograms was pitifully little compared to his 10,000 tons. Seeing that the situation was getting out of control, Shen Hai came forward to smooth things over. Although they wanted Yi Zan and Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi to become enemies, they would probably be scolded by the sect master if they let this continue. Everyone, please do not be angry. In fact, Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi snorted coldly. His eyes were filled with coldness. Tai Ching sect really lives up to its reputation. Even an elder can be so arrogant. I really don't know how to teach here. He glanced at Sun Sahao, who was beside him, and he immediately understood. Master, we have to teach him a lesson. The alchemy king couldn't teach this arrogant man a lesson. It would be beneath him and he would be criticized by others. However, he didn't have such a worry since he was a disciple. So, it was naturally his responsibility to teach Yi Zan a lesson. Otherwise, others would really think that it was easy to bully them. Sun Sahao's eyes were cold, your sect master is not here today. So I will teach you, an arrogant elder, a lesson on her behalf. No one had expected him to make a move suddenly. Only an afterimage could be seen in the air. Sun Sahao's movements could not be seen clearly at all. The aura that exploded was of Earth Realm level 8 which made many Tai Ching sect disciples feel great pressure. That's too scary, Earth Realm level 8. I didn't think the Alchemy King's disciple would be so strong. I think it won't be long before he breaks through to Heaven Realm. Sun Sahao is so powerful, Elder Yi should be fine, right? Many disciples' hearts were in their throats. The fifth elder wanted to stop him but he was stopped by the third elder. Why are you joining in at this time? Wouldn't it be great if Yi Zan and Alchemy King Ji Yu's eyes men fight? But, are you afraid that you'll die too slow? If someone gets injured, I'm afraid it'll be hard to explain later, the fifth elder said hesitantly. The third elder smiled, that's for the best. We can use Alchemy King Ji Yu's eyes disciple to settle Yi Zan. The fifth elder had a strange expression. In fact, he was a little worried that Sun Sahao would be injured. Yi Zan stood there unhurriedly, not worried at all. He even had the mood to comment, you're too slow. If you were a little faster, you might have been able to touch the corner of my clothes. It wasn't that Yi Zan was bragging, but with the mysterious hidden steps and Tai Shuen breathing technique, even a Heaven Realm Alchemy King wouldn't be able to touch him. Upon hearing this, Sun Sahao was disdainful, you're still so stubborn even when you're facing a great disaster. You can hide first before saying this if you're able to. It's a good thing to be confident, but overconfidence is courting death. Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi spoke with deep meaning. He was obviously very confident in Sun Sahao. At this moment, he was already in front of Yi Zan. Suddenly, a deafening neigh was heard. The horses sped up even more, like the wind and lightning, bringing with them a storm. There was no cultivation technique or spiritual power at all. The hoof smashed down with great force. Boom! With a loud sound, the horse's hooves landed on the ground, creating a deep pit. Everyone could feel the ground shaking slightly. When they looked up, Sun Sahao, who had been aggressive just now, was now like a withered eggplant. Sun Sahao's body was on the verge of collapse. Looking at the hoof in his chest, he only felt that the scene was inexplicably familiar. Everyone looked at the scene with their mouths wide open. Everyone was silent as they looked at the scene in disbelief. Poochie. Poochie. 
they only heard the horse making a loud noise from its nose as if it was announcing its victory to the crowd. With that proud and arrogant gaze, people would believe it if they said it had outfoxed the other horses. An ordinary horse had actually defeated Sun Sahau, who was at Earth Realm level 8. They would never have believed it if they had not seen it with their own eyes. Alchemy King Ji Yuzai's face turned green and red at the sight of his disciple being stepped on by a horse. He couldn't possibly fight a horse himself, right? Yi Zan walked forward, and the black horse came over and rubbed against him affectionately. Well done. I didn't feed you the spiritual plants in vain. Let's have supper tonight. No one had paid any attention to this horse before, but now that they observed it carefully, it was completely black without any impurities. Under the sunlight, it looked like black silk, and its strong body looked more like black lightning. However, its four hooves were as white as snow. From afar, it looked like a dark cloud treading on snow. With its appearance and spirit, it did not look any worse than those spiritual beasts. As if it understood Yi Zan's words, it raised its front hooves happily, and the sound of breathing from its nose became louder and louder. I'm afraid this horse has become a spiritual being, if it wasn't for its bloodline and aura, I would have really thought it was a demonic beast or spiritual beast. The people of Tai Ching sect were talking among themselves, however, no matter how they looked at it, the horse in front of them was just an ordinary horse. There was no fluctuation of spiritual power on its body. How did it defeat Sun Sahau? Everyone was in disbelief. Yi Zan smiled meaningfully and looked downwards at Sun Sahau, are you satisfied? After all, these horses had been fed by him with spiritual plants for so long that they had been reborn. Although they still had no spiritual power, it was only temporary. Although it was an ordinary horse, its strength was comparable to a third-rank demonic beast. It could break through everything with its strength. This strength was not something Sun Sahau could withstand. Looking at the man and the horse in front of him as well as the different expressions of the people around him, Sun Sahau couldn't believe that he couldn't even beat a horse. At this moment, he didn't even dare to meet Alchemy King Ji Yuzai's gaze. He wanted to find a hole in the ground and hide in it. I'm not satisfied, Sun Sahau gritted his teeth. If he really lost, everyone would laugh at him. He ate something. In an instant, his aura skyrocketed. He had reached the peak of Earth Realm, and even showed signs of a breakthrough. Anyone with eyes could tell that he was on drugs. As expected of an alchemy king's disciple, he even had this kind of pill. One had to know that ordinary pills could only forcibly increase one or two levels at most. Sun Sahau had almost reached the heaven realm, so it could be seen that the effect of the pill was powerful. It should have been made by alchemy king Ji Yu Shi. Everyone sighed, not knowing if this would affect the battle. Sun Sahau once again exerted his strength with great momentum. Countless golden lights surrounded him. He wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth, determined to take revenge for his previous humiliation. He formed a seal with both hands, and the temperature in the air suddenly rose. A huge and complicated pattern appeared on the ground, vaguely forming a circle of flames that was filled with great pressure. Sun Sahau was in the middle of it, and the raging flames soared into the sky. As he waved his hand, the fire dragon swept over, aiming at Yi Zan. It's my turn now. Clip clop, clip clop, the hurried sound of horse hooves could be heard. It was as if black lightning had streaked across the sky as huge hooves descended from the sky. Looking at the hooves on his chest, Sun Sahau actually saw a disdainful look on a horse. He was so angry from the embarrassment that he couldn't catch his breath. Everyone was speechless for a moment, but at the same time, they realized a problem. Perhaps Sun Sahau really couldn't even beat a horse. Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi and the others who had been hoping for him to show off his skills and wash their humiliation away all turned their heads away. This time, they had lost all their face. Yi Zan didn't even spare him a glance, what are you doing with all this fancy stuff? Why don't you just admit defeat? Then you don't have to suffer this physical pain. At this moment, Sun Sahau even wanted to die, he was so angry that his whole body was shaking, you. Before he could finish speaking, the black horse stomped hard. He suddenly drew a beautiful parabola, and accurately landed in the stable. This action wasn't lethal, but it was extremely insulting. The expressions of alchemy king Ji Yu Shi and the others could only be described as terrifying. Pooh! Sun Sahau poked his head out of the stable and frantically spat out the grass in his mouth. A faint fragrance spread out, and it was sweet in his mouth. As if he realized something, his pupils shrank violently. When everyone rushed over, they saw Sun Sahau in the stable chewing the grass in his mouth in a daze. 
For a moment, everyone thought that the kick just now had landed on Sun Sahao's head. It's over. He was kicked silly. I won't dare to look down on this dark horse anymore. It's simply the king of horses. Seeing everyone's arrival, Sun Sahao finally came back to his senses and stuttered, Master, please listen to my explanation. Don't call me master, I don't have a disgraceful disciple like you. Alchemy King Ji Yushi couldn't wait to break off his master disciple relationship with Sun Sahao right now. No, master. These are all spiritual plants, so many spiritual plants. Alchemy King Ji Yushi's voice was cold to the extreme. What nonsense are you saying? Sun Sahao casually grabbed a handful and presented it as if it were a treasure. Master, look. The thing in his hand exuded a strange medicinal fragrance, which was refreshing and full of spiritual energy. It was a spiritual plant indeed, and it was of the highest quality. Alchemy King Ji Yushi was dumbstruck, his mouth agape so wide that an entire egg could fit in. How is this possible? The stables were filled with fodder that looked like ordinary grass, but the problem was, who would feed these ordinary horses with such precious spiritual plants? Even spiritual beasts didn't receive such treatment. However, the smell that it emitted could not lie. Ji Yu Shi suddenly snatched it over and sniffed it carefully. That's right, it's indeed the Lingzi Du Grass, Nine Revolution Heart Piercing Seed, Snake Vine Mandara, Purple Gold Jade Calabash Vine. Towards the end, his voice became louder and his expression became more and more incredulous. Ji Yu Shi listed out the names of dozens of spiritual plants in one breath and everyone was stunned. It was no wonder that the people of Tai Ching sect would show such an expression. After all, they did not know anything about these. The fifth elder could not help but ask, Are these spiritual plants very precious? Sun Sahao gasped, It's not just precious, it's hard to find even with money. Alchemy King Ji Yuzai's eyes were shining, he didn't care about others. He took some of the plants and started chewing immediately, This taste is definitely authentic. The expressions of the Tai Ching sect disciples became even more indescribable. The two of them were indeed master and disciple. This could be confirmed just from their identical actions and reactions. They shouldn't have done that even though it's a spiritual plant. After all, the horse was still watching them from the side. Alchemy King Ji Yushi didn't mind the dirt as he started rummaging through the stables, it's been a long time since I've seen a peak grade heaven hundred leafed orchid. The only pity is that its roots and leaves are damaged. There was a row of neat teeth marks on the damaged part. He immediately revealed a pained expression. There was no need to ask who the culprit was. The black horse was staring at him coldly, chewing something in its mouth. Oh my god! Isn't this the purple ginseng king? Alchemy King Ji Yushi cried out in alarm. He quickly pulled out the ginseng from the horse's mouth and barely managed to save it. Unfortunately, the ginseng was already half eaten. However, he didn't mind the saliva on it. It can be used in medicine. Fortunately, the main medicinal properties haven't been destroyed. Hearing this, everyone from Tai Ching sect made a decision they would never touch the next batch of pills that Alchemy King Ji Yushi was going to refine. Snort. The black horse at the side suddenly snorted and looked at him fiercely. This person who had repeatedly snatched food from its mouth had obviously made it extremely dissatisfied. The ponytail swung back and forth like a whip, striking Alchemy King Ji Yushi's hand. Even so, Alchemy King Ji Yushi didn't seem to notice it. Even if the sky were to fall down at this moment, he would probably not be willing to leave. He was still rummaging through the pile of fodder. The black horse raised its front hooves and was about to give Alchemy King Ji Yushi a deep lesson, letting him know that it wasn't someone to be trifled with. Yi Zan gave it a look, don't worry, I'll make it up to you double. In other words, he still had a lot of such fodder. The black horse was instantly satisfied and stood quietly at the side. Who knew that his sentence seemed to have triggered Alchemy King Ji Yushi? He said with a bitter heart, What's wrong with your Tai Ching sect? You're actually using spiritual plants to feed the horses? It was simply a waste of God's gift? The other people of Tai Ching sect were like, Not me. I didn't. Don't talk nonsense. Their eyes fell on Yi Zong. As expected of you, everyone's eyes revealed this information. Thinking of Yi Zan's past extravagance, the tolerance of the people of Tai Ching sect had been uplifted. It was not surprising even if he fed the horses with spiritual plants. In the eyes of Alchemy King Ji Yushi and the others, this expression meant that was something they were used to and often did. Sun Sahao thought of his master's boastful talk about how to plant spiritual plants in front of the people of Tai Ching sect, 
and how difficult it was to plant them, it was a big slap in the face. They actually did not find it difficult at all. Otherwise, how could there be extra spiritual plants to feed the horses? Moreover, they all looked like they were used to it, which made them seem to be making a fuss. Sun Sahau thought, Master, this group of people is clearly pretending to be stupid. If the people of Tai Ching sect knew Sun Sahau's thoughts, they would definitely tell him that he was overthinking it. Alchemy King Ji Yu Zai's group of people no longer had their previous arrogance. At this moment, they were simply filled with regret. They shouldn't have shown that kind of attitude back then. They hoped that there was still time to remedy it. You don't have to say any more. I understand, Alchemy King Ji Yu Zai's face was full of heartache. He revealed a kind smile. His face was extremely pleasant, without the slightest bit of arrogance, compared to the time when he first came, he was a completely different person. Those who didn't know would think that he had been switched. The second elder, the third elder, and the fifth elder all felt uncomfortable under his gaze, Alchemy King Ji Yushi, please feel free to tell us if you have something to say. Cough, cough. Alchemy King coughed a few times to cover up his embarrassment, do you still lack manpower in your stable? The people from Tai Ching sect were a little confused, I wonder what do you mean? It's like this. I have a few disappointing disciples here, they can't do anything, yet they're bullied by horses when they fight. I'd like to take this opportunity to train them in the stables for a few days. Sun Sahau. Master, I suspect that you're referring to me, and I have evidence. Facing Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi who had sold him out so easily, Sun Sahau's expression was full of resentment. But when he saw the supreme grade spiritual plants at the side, he was instantly overjoyed. Apart from the surrounding, this was a place that almost all alchemists dreamed of. With so many supreme grade spiritual plants, they could use them however they wanted. In fact, these people couldn't be blamed for their behavior. Alchemy was money consuming. Although the refined pills could also be sold for money, supreme grade spiritual plants were not easy to find, not to mention that there were so many ready made ones in front of them. This place was simply like heaven, and there were many spiritual plants that Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi couldn't find. Now that he finally found them, how could he let them go so easily? Don't worry, I'll teach you everything I know about alchemy. I don't need the things that sect master Han Yu gave me, but I have one condition. Can you give me some of these plants? Alchemy King Ji Yu Zai's gaze landed on Yi Zan as he apologized with utmost sincerity. I was ignorant previously and thus offended Elder Yi. I hope that you will be magnanimous and not hold it against me. After he calmed down, he knew that although this young man was only at level 2 human realm, his strength was unfathomable. In addition, his background must not be ordinary for him to be able to take out so many spiritual plants. The other's attitude had also shown that Yi Zong wasn't to be underestimated. Since Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi had lowered his attitude, Yi Zong naturally had no reason to hold back. Besides, there was no benefit in opposing Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi. Although he had a lot of spiritual plants, he didn't know how to refine pills. He might as well give it to Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi to use. Alchemy King, don't stand on ceremony. It's just some fodder. I have a lot of it here, so there's no harm to give you some. Hearing Yi Zan's nonchalant words, even Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi, who had a high social status, felt admired. DMN it, I've been flaunted. That's good, he forced a smile. Looking at the mountain of spiritual plants in the warehouse behind the stable, the tiny bit of dissatisfaction in Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi had disappeared completely. He looked at Yi Zan as if he was looking at his parents. These are all supreme grade spiritual plants, both the appearance and the age are perfect to the extreme. The eyes of Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi and the others lit up like a pack of hungry wolves seeing meat. Sun Sahau almost couldn't hold back the excitement in his heart and was about to rush forward. Alchemy King Ji Yu Zai's gaze forced him to stop, then, he said embarrassedly, after you, master. Only then did Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi nod his head in satisfaction. They busied themselves in and out of the warehouse. Some of them had even taken out the cauldrons. It seemed like they were preparing to refine pills on the spot. Those who didn't know would think that this was a great place, in fact, it was just the stables warehouse at the back of the mountain of Tai Ching sect. The corner of the second elder's eyes twitched, Alchemy King, why don't you change the location? Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi rejected hurriedly, no need. In order to prevent the spiritual plants from being damaged while moving, we'll just stay here. With these top quality spiritual plants, 
even the stables were no different from heaven in their eyes. Yi Zan waved his hand, don't be polite with me, alchemy king. There's still more after you're done. Don't feel bad about it and don't save it for me either. Upon hearing this, the way alchemy king Ji Yu Shi looked at Yi Zan became especially respectful. His attitude was completely different from the time when he first came. Elder Yi, I don't even know how to thank you, he didn't expect Yi Zan to be so broad-minded. Not only did he not care about the previous offense, but he also treated him so sincerely. Most importantly, he was generous. Elder Yi, don't worry, I will definitely teach you all everything. The people of Tai Ching sect were naturally overjoyed when they heard this. Since the alchemy king had said this himself, it must be true. Even if they could only learn a part of his skill, it was enough for them to use it for life. Congratulations to the host for completing the mission of consuming 10,000 tons of supreme grade spiritual plants. Mission reward 3,000 prodigal points. Hearing the system notification in his head, Yi Zan also showed a satisfied smile. Everyone was very satisfied with the ending. The most unhappy person was the dark horse. The plants were all his originally, but now there were so many uninvited guests who snatched its food. After being fed by Yi Zan with supreme grade spiritual plants for so many days, even a pig would be intelligent. And even an ordinary horse would have gained intelligence and become extraordinary. A worker wanted to lead it back to the stables, but the black horse suddenly turned its head. The sound of the air coming out of its nose became louder and louder. Its front hooves were digging the ground violently, and it did not allow anyone to get close. Thinking that it even dared to kick Sun Sahau, the others didn't dare to move, for fear of being injured by its legs. Seeing that Yi Zan was about to leave, the black horse neighed and actually broke free of the reins and rushed out. Without any warning, the stable worker fell to the ground and ate a mouthful of soil. Yi Zan looked at the black horse in surprise, you want to go with me? The black horse nodded like a human. It bit the reins, and then put it on Yi Zan's hand. Everyone can tell what it meant. In the eyes of others, the dark horse was violent and not to be trifled with, but it was extremely docile in front of Yi Zan. Everyone's expression was indescribable, especially Sun Sahau. The place where he was kicked by the horse's leg was still in pain. He couldn't help but mutter, good lord, this horse has really become a spiritual being, it actually has two faces. The black horse's ears moved, as if it had heard him, it looked at him, and the sound of breathing from its nose suddenly became heavier. Sun Sahau suddenly felt that the injury was more painful, and he didn't dare to say anything. Yi Zan was also feeling emotional, he was lacking a mount, since the black horse was so human, he couldn't help but pat its head, all right, from now on you'll be called Taxway. Taxu's entire body was pitch black, and only the hooves were white. It was as if it was treading on snow, so the name was very appropriate. It kept neighing, apparently quite fond of the name. These days, everyone in Tai Ching sect was very busy. In addition to the sect returning ceremony, they also had to attend Alchemy King Ji Yuzai's lectures. The Alchemy King and the others were very attentive to teaching. The one who was the most leisure in the entire sect would probably be Yi Zan. However, the sudden sound of the system notification instantly made him feel a sense of urgency. Ding! Random mission. Consume 1000 supreme grade marrow cleansing pills. Mission success reward. 3000 prodigal points, mission failure will result in a random prodigal points deduction. Effective period, 2 days. Yi Zan was stunned. He didn't need any marrow cleansing pill with his current talent. How could he use up so many pills? Stupid system. You've already washed my spiritual root away, so what's the use of giving me so many marrow cleansing pills? Yi Zan wanted to use it on himself, but he can't. The pills were useless for him. Why don't I give one to everyone in the sect? Even so, he probably wouldn't be able to finish distributing them, or he would have to find someone on the streets to give them to. Just as Yi Zan was thinking about how to complete this task, Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi suddenly paid him a visit. Elder Yi, I've received an invitation from the Lin family, why don't you go with me? It'll be more lively with more people on the way. Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi wanted to get closer to Yi Zan, so he invited him to attend the Lin family's engagement banquet. The Lin family was a well-known ancient family, and there was even a moon realm expert in their ancestors, but the later generations were getting worse. Even so, the Lin family's patriarch couldn't be underestimated. It was said that he was already at heaven realm level 6. This time, their marriage partner was also the Su family, which was of similar strength. 
it could be said to be a strong alliance. Yi Zan thought that he had nothing to do, so he agreed to go with them, since he came to this world, he had not come into contact with such an ancient family, so he was very curious. Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi had grand arrangements wherever he went. The spiritual beasts, thunder, were ready to go. Each of them was well raised, and Yi Zan contributed a lot. Even ordinary horses could eat spiritual plants, so thunder beasts could also have some. Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi thought it was a waste, but Yi Zan was rich and generous, so he compromised in the end. With a neigh, thunder beasts leapt into the air, it was as if it was walking on the flat ground sitting in the carriage. They were indeed extremely precious spiritual beasts. It didn't take long for the two of them to reach their destination. The Vermilion Gate was very imposing, and the stone lion at the gate was even more vivid as if it was about to come to life. Upon closer inspection, it turned out to be sculpted from a whole piece of high quality spiritual jade. No wonder it was so full of spiritual energy. The people around them sighed, as expected of a centennial family. They're indeed generous. Even the furnishings in the room were decorated with night luminescent pearls, which made the word happiness even more dazzling. The Centennial family's heritage and extraordinary nobility could be seen everywhere. Alchemy King Ji Yu's eyes expression turned strange, he thought of the night luminescent pearls that covered the steps of Tai Ching sect and the crystal ice chalcedony that could be seen everywhere. If he had not seen it before, he would definitely be amazed by the Lin family's generosity. But now, it seemed a little petty in comparison. As expected, there was no hurt without comparison. He shook his head in his heart. Welcome, Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi. Sorry for not waiting for you at the door. The Lin family patriarch received the news and came out to welcome him warmly. His eyes stopped on Yi Zan for a moment and he asked with doubt, May I know who this is? Could he be Alchemy King Ji Yu's eyes disciple at such a young age? However, it didn't seem to be the case since they walked side by side and the Alchemy King treated him with courtesy. This is Elder Yi from the Tai Ching sect. I've recently been invited by the sect to give a lecture. Elder Yi has been taking care of me. The smile on the Lin family patriarch's face suddenly faded a lot, he had never heard of Tai Ching sect, so it must not be a big sect. However, Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi seemed to take him very seriously. The patriarch didn't think too much about it, since you're brought by the Alchemy King, you're also an important guest of my Lin family, please take a seat. The Lin family patriarch was extremely polite as he made an inviting gesture. Even Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi is invited, the Lin family is really a big shot. I heard that the Lin family patriarch and the Alchemy King are old friends. Since both sides have such a good relationship, why doesn't the Alchemy King treat the young master? Shish. Don't talk nonsense on a joyous day. Alchemy King Ji Yu's eyes arrival caused the atmosphere to reach a small climax, becoming even more lively. Very soon, Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi was surrounded by many people who wanted to build relationships with him. On the contrary, Yi Zan was completely ignored. Tai Ching sect had just been established not long ago, so there was naturally a lot of news that those in the outside world didn't know. In the eyes of the public, he was just an elder of a small sect who somehow managed to know Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi. Naturally, no one took Yi Zan seriously, and he didn't care either. Seeing that Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi wasn't free, he left his seat and planned to walk around. This stone lion is a little too small, and the night luminescent pearl isn't big or bright enough. I heard people outside bragging about how powerful this centennial family is but now I find there's nothing special. Yi Zan criticized without any ill intentions, but he felt a little lacking. He was used to squandering, and his horizons had been broadened, so he naturally felt that these things were very rare and ordinary. In the outside world, the Lin family's items were already unimaginable wealth. After all, they were an ancient family, and there were more valuable things in their treasury that they would not easily show to others. Moreover, not everyone was as rich as Yi Zan, who had the prodigal system as his backing and had all the good things on display. However, when others who did not know the truth heard this, they would regard this as a provocation. Who are you? How dare you slander my Lin family? A young man was looking at Yi Zan angrily. He was wearing a purple gold crown, which was extremely expensive. Even the jade pendant on his body was a top grade defensive magic weapon, which was enough to show that his family background was extraordinary. I'm an elder from Tai Ching sect, Yi Zan. The man frowned. Tai Ching sect? I've never heard of it. Where's this wild sect? You actually dared to trespass my Lin family? Are you having ulterior motives? 
Second young master, Tai Ching sect seems to have only been established recently. So he was the Lin family's second young master, Lin Tiani. His father was the brother of the current Lin family patriarch. No wonder he was so angry after hearing Yi Zan's words. Lin Tianyi's gaze was not friendly. What right does a sect like this have to enter our Lin family? He must have sneaked in. Men, take him down. I came here with Alchemy King Ji Yushi. Lin Tianyi sized Yi Zan up. He found that his clothes were ordinary and his cultivation was not high. He couldn't help but say in disdain, "You can't even come up with a decent lie. Do you really think we're three-year-old kids? How could Alchemy King Ji Yushi have anything to do with someone like you?" After saying that. He gave a look to the few servants. Then they surrounded Yi Zan instantly. Yi Zan secretly tightened his grip on the water and fire talisman, and the atmosphere became tenser and tenser. Hold on. As a man walked over from the side, everyone's expression turned strange, especially Lin Tiani, who had a hint of ridicule and jealousy in his eyes. Everyone here is a guest, so there's no need to make such a big fuss. Lin Tiani snorted and said to Yi Zan, Consider yourself lucky this time. After saying this, he left without looking back, not even giving the man an extra glance. The servant behind him nodded to the man and then hurriedly followed. By the time Yi Zan wanted to thank him, the man had already left. He was as silent as when he came. This made Yi Zan a little confused, it's really strange, who the hell is this? If the man's status was said to be noble, Lin Tianyi didn't have much respect for him though. He didn't even care about him. However, he wasn't ordinary either since he could make them stop with one sentence. When Yi Zan returned, he happened to run into Alchemy King Ji Yushi, who had come out to look for him. Where have you been? The ceremony is about to start. I just went out for a stroll. Alchemy King Ji Yushi didn't say anything. The two of them sat down together. Due to Ji Yuzai's esteemed status, he was arranged to sit at the head of the table. Yi Zan was naturally the same. This scene fell into Lin Tianyi's eyes and he couldn't help but be shocked, this kid really knows Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi. However, the conflict just now did not happen. Even if Yi Zan wanted to settle the score later, Lin Tianyi was not afraid. He laughed coldly and said, there are plenty of people who know how to flatter. He's just lucky. Yi Zan looked around and found that the young man who had just helped him out was also there, he's here too. Hearing this, Alchemy King Ji Yushi followed Yi Zan's line of sight, you know the Lin family's eldest young master too? He never thought that he would be the protagonist of today's engagement banquet, Lin Yuanhang. Alchemy King Ji Yushi sighed, this Lin Yuanhang was originally an outstanding talent, a rare genius in the world. It's just a pity. Yi Zan couldn't help but be a little curious, what do you mean? It turned out that Lin Yuanhang had shown extraordinary talent since he was a child, leaving his peers behind. He was only about eight years old, but he was already at Earth Realm level five. It could be said that he had a promising future. However, a sudden illness caused his cultivation level to drop drastically to human realm. He was unable to advance any further and was gradually overtaken by others, turning from a genius to a loser. One could imagine how sad it was to fall in one day. Yi Zan couldn't help but ask, "What kind of strange illness is it? Can't he recover?" Alchemy King Ji Yushi shook his head. The Lin family's patriarch has searched for famous doctors all these years, but he still couldn't find the right treatment. In the end, he found out that for some unknown reason, Lin Yuanhang's foundation had been broken, and the damage was irreparable. That was why he stopped advancing. As long as the damage is repaired, he'll be fine. Facing Yi Zan's question, Alchemy King Ji Yushi sighed, How can it be that easy? Even I'm at a loss. What I need is really too much. Before Alchemy King Ji Yushi could finish, he was interrupted by the MC. It's the auspicious time, almost everyone had arrived, but the bride was still not there. The guests were discussing among themselves, what's going on? Why isn't anyone from the bride arrived yet? How can they be late for such an important day? I'm afraid it won't be good if they miss the auspicious time. I heard that Miss Sue has been training outside, I think it's normal for there to be a delay in information. Could it be that the Su family has other ideas? I've heard that Su Qingyun is already at the peak of the Earth Realm. With such an unlimited future, how could she marry a good for nothing? If it were me, I wouldn't be willing either. The Su family didn't say anything on the surface, but they have always been quite critical about this. Who would be willing to marry their family genius to a waste? That's not true either. 
The relationship between the two families is not bad and this marriage was set by the old forefather. It is impossible for the Su family to fall out and go back on their words. The crowd's words made the Lin family patriarch feel a little embarrassed. He coughed a few times and said, Everyone, please be patient. There might be an emergency, so they're delayed. Then, he whispered to the person beside him, Hurry up and take a look at what's going on with the Su family. The more Yi Zan listened, the more familiar the script was to him. An original genius became a loser after a great change, and then he had a fiancé with similar family background. Then, shouldn't the next step be, Su Qingyun is here. As the ethereal female voice rang out, the entire place fell silent. The bright red clothes were like a ball of fire, attracting everyone's eyes. It was as if their eyes would get burned if they looked at the red clothes more. Even more eye-catching than this color was the beautiful and exquisite face. Her eyebrows were like a painting, and she was really stunning to the extreme. It was no wonder that many young talents at the banquet were attracted to such a female genius. So this is the Su family's young lady, Su Qingyun. I didn't expect her to be so graceful and charming. Everyone was full of praise, with such talent, looks, strength, and family background, it's a pity to be with the Lin family's young master. Although Lin Yuanhang was also good looking, and the two of them looked like a perfect couple, his strength was low. Therefore, it was inevitable that people would feel like the marriage was putting new wine into old bottles. These two don't match at all other than their family backgrounds. Lower your voice. Now that the main character is here, do you want others to hear you? Even though the crowd was whispering among themselves, the people present were all cultivators with sharp ears and eyes. How could they not hear? The Lin family patriarch's face darkened, but he did not make a sound. Niece Su, you're finally here. By the way, where are the others? Patriarch Lin looked at the door and saw that Su Qingyun was alone. The other members of the Su family were nowhere to be seen. This scene did not seem like an engagement. Coupled with the fact that she had arrived late, he suddenly had a bad feeling. I can do it alone, Su Qingyun said expressionlessly. The Lin family patriarch shook his head in disagreement, although it's an engagement now, it's also a matter of life. I've discussed it with your father. Before he could finish his sentence, Su Qingyun interrupted him, Patriarch Lin has made a mistake. I'm here to break off the engagement. As soon as she finished speaking, the whole place was in an uproar. Compared to everyone's shock, Yi Zan was extremely calm, it's indeed the familiar trend of breaking off an engagement. Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi was confused, what do you mean? Yi Zan's expression was unfathomable, it can only be understood but not explained. At this moment, the Lin family patriarch stood up from his chair in anger, what, your Su family wants to break off the engagement? He looked at Su Qingyun with a dark expression. Facing the Lin family patriarch's gaze, Su Qingyun's face was filled with indifference, that's right. Do you know that this marriage was set by the two ancestors? Your Su family actually broke the contract publicly, disgracing our Lin family? What angered Patriarch Lin the most was that the Su family had long had the intention to break the promise but now only they told the truth. Under everyone's eyes, this humiliation was like a resounding slap in the Lin family's face. The Su family looked down on them. Su Qingyun's face was filled with guilt, my father wanted to mention it long ago, but the Lin family acted too fast and didn't give us a chance to react. The Lin family Patriarch was so angry that he laughed, according to what you're saying, it's our Lin family who is in the wrong. Her words made it seem as if their Lin family was insistent on this marriage, which was really ear-piercing to the extreme. I dare not, but young Master Lin and I are not on the same path. I offer this as an apology, and I hope you can accept it. Su Qingyun opened the bottle cap, and a refreshing medicinal fragrance wafted in the air. She poured out a few dark green pills, which were obviously extremely precious. Alchemy King Ji Yu's eyes eyes lit up, what a perfect marrow cleansing pills. I wonder who refined them. Even he had said so. So one could imagine that the pills were good things. Yi Zan, on the other hand, was uninterested. So what if it was a perfect marrow cleansing pill? How could it be compared to a supreme grade one? But it can't completely restore Lin Yuanhang's foundation. It needs to be of the supreme grade, but the supreme grade pill formula had long been lost. Those on market are incomplete. Yi Zan was in disbelief. What did you just say? Repairing Lin Yuanhang's foundation requires supreme grade marrow cleansing pill? That's right. Even if there's a pill formula, some of the ancient spiritual plants don't even exist anymore. It's extremely hard to refine. 
Yi Zan had a lot of supreme grade marrow cleansing pills, and he could even give them to Lin Yuanhang to eat like candy. Lin Yuanhang, who had been silent at the side, suddenly said, Do you think that our Lin family will care about a few mere medicinal pills? Su Qingyun couldn't even be bothered to look at her fiancé, they can repair part of your foundation. You don't want to be a waste for the rest of your life, do you? Lin Yuanhang clenched his fists so tightly that the veins on his hands were popping out, I don't want your things. Take your pills and get lost. Su Qingyun had always been a genius and was treated with respect wherever she went. When she heard Lin Yuanhang's impolite words, the little bit of guilt in her heart disappeared. What? You're still engaging in wishful thinking. If I were you, I would give up this marriage voluntarily instead of asking for humiliation here. Su Qingyun threw the bottle at Lin Yuanhang's feet. The contempt and disdain in her words and actions were like a hot slap in his face. No one would be able to endure such a great humiliation, let alone a former genius. How could the Lin family patriarch take such a big blow? He was about to attack regardless of his status, but he held himself back, silly girl, don't blame me for being rude if you dare to speak so arrogantly again. Su Qingyun's face was completely fearless, Patriarch Lin, I come to apologize because I respect you as an elder. However, don't take advantage of your seniority. This marriage is clearly wrong. Are you trying to force me? The Su family seemed to be rational. It was clear that they were in the wrong in this matter. Not to mention the Lin family, even Yi Zan felt uncomfortable hearing this as an outsider. Every dog will have his day. Don't bully a poor young man. Everyone thought that it was Lin Yuanhang who said it, but who knew that he was also shocked. The person who said this was Yi Zan. After shouting out that classic line, he felt extremely comfortable. Everyone was confused by Yi Zan's sudden appearance. Who is this person? Where did he come from? He seems to have come with Alchemy King Ji Yu Shi. Their relationship seems to be quite deep. Su Qingyun sized Yi Zan up, and the disdain in her eyes grew even stronger. She thought that he was Lin Yuanhang's friend, you're just level 2 human realm, but you dare to talk big here. No wonder people say that birds of a feather flock together. It's indeed true. Lin Yuanhang, who was standing at the side, was stunned. Yi Zan's words echoed in his mind, and he couldn't help but sigh, yes, don't bully a poor young man. Even the Lin family patriarch's eyes revealed admiration. He didn't expect that Yi Zan, who seemed to have low cultivation, would be so enlightening and thought-provoking. Yi Zan glanced at Su Qingyun and smiled amiably, but his words were extremely sharp. Then may I ask this young lady, what are you? Are you going back on your word or being treacherous? The dignified Su family actually raised such a descendant. I'm afraid that even your ancestors can't bear it. Yi Zan had exposed Su Qingyun, and she was instantly enraged. Who do you think you are? How dare you point your fingers here? With a flash of spiritual light, the fiery red whip flew out of Su Qingyun's hand like a spiritual snake, headed straight for Yi Zan's face. Be careful, Lin Yuanhang reminded him, but it was too late. The long whip set off a scorching wave. Under the high temperature, even the air became distorted. Even the bystanders could feel the boiling temperature, not to mention Yi Zan who was in the center. If this whip hit him, he would either die or be crippled. You're such a vicious woman. People say that you shouldn't hit someone's face. I only said a few words of truth but you actually attacked me. The whip was very close to Yi Zan before he managed to dodge. The whip was extremely fast in the eyes of others, but it was nothing to him. He didn't forget to ridicule it. However, in the eyes of the others, Yi Zan had barely dodged Su Qingyun's whip, which was extremely strenuous. Bang! The whip hit the blue and white porcelain behind him. The porcelain, which was half the height of a man, shattered into countless pieces. There were even traces of burns on the edges. What a strong fire element! I heard that Miss Su was born with a fire spirit root, she really lives up for her reputation. Su Qingyun's whip technique was superb, and it was also wrapped in a dense fire element. It was dazzling, and the sky was full of traces of dancing fire. Many valuable decorations were also destroyed. Seeing that her attacks were missed, Su Qingyun was furious, are you a man? Why do you only know how to dodge? If I don't dodge, am I going to be eaten by a tigress like you? Yi Zan said without turning his head. Hearing this, Su Qingyun's little face turned red with anger, and fire shot out of her watery eyes. The whip fell continuously, but it hit nothing. The aura on her body continued to rise, and her whip techniques became even more ruthless. It could be said that every move was fatal, 
and it was clear that Su Qingyun was going to kill him. The fire element in the air became more and more active, and it was all drawn by Su Qingyun. The flames of the fire illuminated her face, making her look even more delicate and beautiful. She was as bright as a peach flower, but she was also fatally dangerous. Roar! A fire dragon whizzed out as if a real dragon had come into being. It charged toward Yi Zong with tremendous force. Every dragon scale on its body glowed with fire, swallowing and burning everything around it. This aura made even the people around them feel shocked, what a terrifying fire element. To be able to cause such a phenomenon, could it be that she has subdued the rare fire? There were many rare treasures in the world, and the rare fire was one of them. Most of them were formed by gathering the essence of the world. They were all very powerful whether it was used to refine pills, weapons, or as a means of attack. However, it was extremely difficult to subdue the strange fire. After all, to use a human body to contain such a natural treasure, the lightest consequence would be serious injuries, and the heaviest consequence would be the explosion of the body and death, it was extremely dangerous. Nevertheless, if they were successfully tamed, the benefits they brought were immense. If a person with a fire spirit root tamed a rare fire, the spirit root would become purer and become a mutated heavenly fire spirit root. Everyone was shocked. In contrast, Yi Zan, who was in the center of the storm, was still calm. His black eyes were like a deep pool of water. Seeing that the fire dragon was about to attack Yi Zan and that he could not resist it with his strength alone, Lin Yuanhang could not help but look at the person sitting in the main seat. Father. The engagement banquet was about to turn into a farce. The Lin family patriarch's veins were bulging and he finally couldn't bear it anymore. Enough! With a furious roar, a powerful aura was released. It was like a towering mountain pressing down on the place. Even the fire dragon was suppressed. Only faint sparks appeared and gradually dissipated. Although Su Qingyun was the best of her peers, she couldn't withstand the Lin family patriarch's strong and domineering aura. No matter how powerful she was, she was only in her early twenties. Perhaps she could surpass him if she was given a little more time, but now, she was still too young. Su Qingyun suddenly took a few steps back, and the whip in her hand was only left with a faint red light. If one looked closely, one would see that her wrist was trembling slightly. On the other hand, Yi Zan seemed to be fine. Lin Yuanheng, who was observing from the side, saw all of this with a thoughtful expression. Even Su Qingyun couldn't bear it. So how could a mere level 2 human realm Yi Zan be able to stay calm? Patriarch Lin's face was cold, Miss Su, on account of our family ties and your father's friendship, I've been tolerating you. But this doesn't mean that our Lin family doesn't have a temper. Su Qingyun felt as if she was facing a great enemy with just a light exertion of force from Patriarch Lin. Fine beads of sweat appeared on her smooth forehead, and even her face turned extremely pale. HMPH, a cold snort rang out and it was like a heavy hammer that hit everyone's heart. A huge pressure instantly spread out, almost suffocating everyone, who is it with such a majestic aura? What a Lin family, are you bullying my Su family here? The voice came before the person. It was like thunder from the heaven, exploding in everyone's ears. They felt as if their eardrums were about to be shattered. An old man walked in slowly. He looked kind and amiable, but his eyes occasionally revealed a bright light. The people around him made way for him. Su Qingyun looked at him as if she had seen her savior, father, you're finally here. The Lin family has gone too far. The Lin family patriarch's expression turned even colder when he heard this, it was clearly you who broke off the engagement in public and caused the Lin family to lose face. And now you're even making bogus accusations, making it seems like the Lin family has let you down. You're too impulsive, I said we had to plan this matter carefully. Patriarch Su looked at Su Qingyun disapprovingly. Then his eyes fell on Lin Yuanhang and the others with a hint of undetectable contempt. This was so called father and daughter. Their superior mannerisms were simply the same. Brother Lin, my daughter has been pampered by me since she was young. She may be a little willful in her words and actions, but since she's not sensible, how can you be not sensible as well to fight with her? When people who were not in the know heard this, they would think that the Lin family was the one who started the trouble. Lin Yuanhang was so angry that he almost laughed at the Su family's ability to twist the truth. Yi Zan took advantage of the opportunity, she's so old but still don't know anything. I'm afraid the Su family has raised a giant baby. This was exactly what everyone was thinking. If it wasn't for the timing and occasion, they really would have applauded Yi Zan. Patriarch Su's face was gloomy. For so many years, 
no junior had dared to speak to him like this. His gaze on Yi Zan was a little more unfriendly. Impudent! Who are you? How dare you be so arrogant? I'm just a person who sees injustice. I can't stand seeing someone break the contract and be so arrogant, even the family member behaves the same. Yi Zan sounded shallow, but his words were filled with sarcasm. Patriarch Su was rendered speechless. Su Qingyun, on the other hand, glared at him fiercely and whispered something to her father. Patriarch Su's eyes were then filled with killing intent. Young man, you're very courageous. I haven't seen someone so bold in a long time, he said meaningfully. Some people like to be in the limelight and play the hero, but they also have to see if they have the ability. Boasting shamelessly will only invite disaster. The meaning behind his words was obvious. It was obvious that Patriarch Su would not let Yizan off easily. Otherwise, if the rumor that anyone could provoke the Su family spread, it would affect their reputation. Lin Yuanhang stood between the two and blocked his view, Uncle Su, this is our family matter. There's no need to involve outsiders. After saying that, he looked at Yi Zan gratefully, thank you for speaking up for justice just now. Yi Zan admired Lin Yuanhang's style of doing things. Such a person was worth his help. Patriarch Su sneered, even if my daughter is in the wrong, you shouldn't humiliate her like this. Besides, we've already apologized and even brought you the pills. The Lin family is overbearing and even hurt her. Now, Yi Zan finally saw what it meant to lie through his teeth. He shook his head as he watched from the side. Lin Yuanhang was expressionless, Uncle Su, it sounds like you are rational. But have you ever thought that you were the one who start this matter? Since you don't want your daughter to get married, you should have brought it up earlier and not break off the marriage in public? Even though he had no cultivation, the aura he exuded could not be underestimated. Even in the face of an expert like Patriarch Su, he did not back down. It made the Su family feel a little guilty. Seeing that they couldn't win, they began to put other ideas forward. Why don't you take a look at your own status and cultivation? Do you know that my daughter has already subdued a rare fire and possesses a mutated heavenly fire spirit root? She's even chosen by the elders of the Yaochi Holy Land. You're simply not worthy. The crowd gasped. No wonder Su Qingyun was so arrogant even though she was in the wrong to break off the engagement. Also no wonder the Su family was so confident. So this was the reason. Yaochi Holy Land was one of the seven major sects. Su Qingyun's future was bound to be unlimited since she had caught their eye. So what if the Su family was known for being treacherous? Just the name of Yaochi Holy Land was enough to scare people to death, so what was a mere breaking off the engagement? If Su Qingyun became a disciple of the sect, her future would no longer be restricted by this small world. The Lin family fell silent. They couldn't deal with Yaochi Holy Land. Even their family was nothing in front of the seven big sects. Patriarch Su revealed a smug smile and took out the pills in his hand. These are incomplete supreme grade marrow cleansing pill. Although it can only repair half of your son's foundation, it's enough for him to start cultivating again. If there's a chance, it's not impossible for him to completely repair it. Su Qingyun pouted, Father, how could you give them such precious pills? I'm just cleaning up your mess. I've told you not to be reckless but you've still caused so much trouble for me, Patriarch Su said unhappily. He looked at the pills in his hand, and could not help but reveal a pained expression. He was originally reluctant to take them out. Although Yaochi Holy Land had given them enough confidence, it was not a glorious thing that they have broken the promise. It would be unreasonable if Patriarch Su didn't spend a lot to stop the Lin family's mouths.